Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some Transformers Prime. Beast Hunters. This is the bulkhead I have from Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. And it's a not bad looking bulkhead. It's got some Roadbuster inspired color scheme. But before we get down to transformation, we're going to do some vehicle mode comparison. Prime Beast Hunters Trailbreaker. Prowl. The only Beast Hunters I own. And a Beast Hunters Decepticon Starscream. Why not? And that's all there is to say for my comparisons. Let's get down to transforming them. Just very simple. I figured it out on my own. I messed around with it a while and figured it out. Flip out the arms like so. Disconnect this from here to get his legs situated. Flip out his little heels so he can stand on his feet. Fold this up until you get it right in the tab that goes right there. You'll hear that snap in the place. Split the arms. Rotate the wheels down first and then split the arms like so. Rotate the biceps. Flip these down, cut, flip these down like so to make it nice and clean. Second verse, just like the first, rotate the bicep to reveal that epic robot mode. And here we got none other than Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Bulkhead. And yeah, he is cool looking. Like the color scheme, because he's just like Roadbuster. And speaking of Roadbuster... Here is my Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Roadbuster next to the original. He's got some orange matching, some green, some brown. Technically a homage to the Roadbuster from Transformers IDW. Why not? Yeah, I say why not, and this is fun. And he's got a lot of posability in his arms, which is pretty cool. Bend at the knee. And a lot of ball joint action. This figure is awesome. The head is on a slight swivel, but other than that, it's pretty good. Now we're going to get down to some comparisons here on the channel. Which I always do, and then I'll do a showing off of all the Transformers Prime I own. All the Transformers I own as of 2023. So... That'll be the big thing. Sorry if I had to correct myself a little bit. Sometimes in my career of reviewing, you have to correct quite a bit. But I do have a lot of fun here on this channel. And that's why I enjoy reviewing toys. Because it's fun to do. And who doesn't have fun? <laughs> I sure have a lot of fun giving these toy reviews to a lot of you people on YouTube land. And I enjoy seeing you guys view, subscribe, and help my channel grow even further. So, yeah. But, yeah, Transformers Prime came out so long ago. So, yeah, it's been around a long time. So, not as long as G1, but, hey, it's pretty cool. But here we got the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters bulkhead next to Starscream himself, if you want that comparison. I have to transform these off camera because I'm photogenic, have a memory that's photographic. But 
But here we got some more Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. Here we got Trailbreaker. Next to good old Bulkhead. And my original Huffer has some breakage. So I can't show that off in the transformation because he's a little bit broken and I got to get a new one. But for now, he'll do just the way he is. But here he is next to Bulkhead. Those are the Beast Hunters I own. Of course, we got Beast Hunters, Predaking, why not? Transformers Legacy, Transformers Prime, RC, because Bulkhead and RC, huh? His fellow wrecker, Wheeljack, because why not? He's Jackie. He's Wheeljack or Jackie. Of course... Nemesis Prime, because he showed up in that episode. Quite a few Prime comparisons I have here for all of you Transformers Prime fans. If there are any watching this video, I'd say this is all to the Transformers Prime fans. Because it's an awesome show, and Bulkhead was originally one of the Wreckers, next to his buddy Wheeljack. So yeah, they are the last surviving Wreckers. And the other guys are just action figure and canon, given they never showed up in Transformers Prime. Except for Nemesis, Predaking, and Starscream, and so forth. But here we got Prowl. And we got some more comparisons with the Autobots. Optimus Prime. I really want to get Ratchet, and maybe Bumblebee. But I have quite a few of these in my collection as of this year. Now for some Susceptacon comparisons, because I got plenty of those. Here we got Transformers Prime Megatron, the Creo version anyway. Because I don't have the original version. The Creo Viacons, because I got quite a few Viacons here. See? I like Viacons. I got quite the Viacon collection here. Got the Jet Viacon. We got Arachnid herself. Why not? We got the Car Viacons. Another Viacon. Another Viacon. Because I got so many Viacons here. We got a version of the Jet Viacon in Creon form. Another Viacon. And I think this might be uh, Makeshift. Creo. So, yeah. Are these Transformers Prime Transformers worth adding to your collection? I'd say yes. They are fun to mess around with and fun to have. Because I have a lot of fun with these old school figures. I wish they would have done a... Done that season with Galvatron Arises, so we can have that series on DVD. But now we're going to show you how many Transformers Prime I own as of this year. I got to line everything up the deluxe classes. Come on, Jackie. Stand. Wheeljack, stand. Predaking his little dragon cannon thing. So there's five right now. Here's six. Seven. Eight. And he just fell down. Come on, Trailbreaker. Nine with the fill-in for IDW. Nemesis filling in for Transformers Prime. Bulkhead. So we got nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 
14. And 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 Transformers Prime I own as of 2023. So yeah, quite a bit of Transformers Prime I own, huh? And I'm so glad to have these in my collection. That's all there is to say for this video. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.